Sunday when you're watching this. It is currently Saturday the 8th of April. So it's the morning after Good Friday. I had a crazy night last night. I had a big bubble bath. I scrubbed off all of my fake tan so I'm feeling super fresh but also looking very pale this morning. And I was asleep by 10.30. <laughs> But this is coming up to the end. This is my last training day of the first week of prep. If you haven't seen that video, my announcement, it's all linked down below. Go watch it. I'm not going to repeat it again if anyone is following this journey. But it's been a really good first week. Calories have been dropped by about 300, but I'm still eating over 2,000 calories, which is amazing. Although, on Tuesday, I did have a day where I felt starving, but I think I would have felt starving even if I was eating my 2,500 or whatever it was, because it was just one of those days where you just don't stop and you don't sit down. So I did way over my 10,000 steps. I did my training, did my cardio. I also went to work. I had loads of errands to run, the two dog walks a day. So that day was a bit mad and I was like, oh my goodness, this is what it's going to feel like. But apart from that, the rest of the week has been better been good i actually feel much better with the amount that i'm eating right now what i was eating in the last little push before we came into prep for me was quite a lot i'm not a massive eater um i don't well now i do because i have to but i rarely finish a meal just because i get full so quick i'd rather like nibble throughout the day so i feel so much better with what i'm eating now but the plan today is so it's easter weekend now it's saturday it is just gone past half past eight. I'm going to eat my breakfast, take the boys out on their morning walk, and then I'm going to head to the gym. <clears throat> We're doing posterior today, which will probably take me about an hour to an hour and 15, and then I'm going to do my final 20-minute cardio. I'm only on three at the moment. Three cardios, 20 minutes, which is really good, and it sort of works, and hopefully by the time we build on top, I'll be in a good routine with getting everything done. But I had a moment um, yesterday where I was looking at myself, and I was kind of like... One thing I want to make sure I don't do is compare myself. One minute, the dog's going to bark. So as I was saying, I've started following a few of the girls who were first timers just to kind of, you know, I'm sort of by myself here doing, obviously I've got my coach, got the support from my husband and whatnot, but it was quite, I was like, I want to find people who were doing it. And I was looking at their photos and thinking, oh my gosh, I look so much smaller than they are. And then I instantly was like, no, no, we don't do that throughout this whole journey i am that i've made that mistake already and i'm not going to do it going forward but something that i didn't mention in my announcement video was uh, the second to last week of my improvement season so about three weeks ago i was actually really poorly and tested positive for covid so i had pretty much an entire week where i think i got two sessions in but i would only really class one of those as an actual session because the rest of the time I was just so weak and I wasn't really getting the most out of it that I can and the, for the remainder of that week I didn't really do anything. I got my steps in and I ate my calories but training wise I just couldn't get to the gym and then I had one week, final week of improvement phase where I felt good back at it and then we've dropped the calories so I think just a mixture of how those three weeks have gone I feel like I was just getting in my head a little bit but otherwise feeling really good this week's been great i am currently on still on four training days i have two posterior which is focusing on your back glutes and your hamstrings one day which is quads and delts so front of your thighs shoulders and then i have another day which is push mainly shoulders that's it and then we have 10k steps a day 2100 calories 130 grams of protein and what have i missed out i think that's it so i did my check-ins yesterday not much has changed, but I will try and put them right up here, my photos, if I can do it. I'm still learning how to do all that properly. But looking good. I haven't had the feedback from my coach just yet. She usually does that on a Saturday afternoon, so that will probably be... I'll probably wait for feedback, and I will film it sort of as it's come through, so you can see it live with what she's saying. So, But we're in a good position. So pre-workout is a bagel with some peanut butter and some strawberry jam got a coffee this is one of the espresso vitamin b12 coffees that are so good and i need all the energy i can get so that b12 is great and then like i said going to the walks gym and then i'm gonna have a lovely easter weekend with my family christian's not here my husband's gone away for the week he is a singer so he's guest entertaining on a cruise ship at the moment so it's just me and the boys but he's back on wednesday which is really good and when i get back from the gym i'm kind of just gonna prep 
for going into the new week because I start work. I've already ordered my um, food shop that's becoming tomorrow evening between seven and eight o'clock. So I've got that for the week. And then Monday, 4.20 alarm, and we're going up to teach some fitness classes. And that's just something I'll save for another video, but I wanna save that more when I'm deeper into prep when maybe you know there's a little bit more to manage just so i can sort of share how i'm managing kind of normal life whilst also chucking your food meal prepping doing your steps doing your workouts doing your cardio because i am very aware that when that comes it's going to be quite tiring and challenging but i'm ready for it so that's where we're at right now i'm going to finish my bagel and then i will take you with the gym with me hopefully i mean it's still early and i'm guessing most people went out last night or did something so i don't know how busy the gym will be but i will try and get as much as i can filmed in there this video was kind of just a little mini one just for a roundup of the first week nothing crazy to report nothing much has really changed so the next time that i do a report on kind of how prep's gone i'll probably wait until the end of the first month because we'll probably have a difference and a slight change in a few things then so yeah <music> Before I leave to the gym, I actually have to take my supplements. So what I've got here is my creatine, five grams daily. And this is my little supplement tablet case that I've got. And what I'm taking in here is I have two ashwagandha dummies, dummies, gummies. One which I'll take now and one which I'll take sometime this afternoon. And so that's in like this little gummy form. And taking ashwagandha just helps to relieve any stress, any inflammation. So that's just good for me to take as I'm starting now, as I'm going into prep, where maybe stress levels are a little bit higher. It can just sort of help you manage that a little bit more. So one gummy. And then going with omega-3 a multivitamin vitamin d and k2 i believe an extra added supplement for energy and then three times a day i also take my own prescribed iron tablet going to drink my creatine and then what i will do before i go to the gym is make myself a bottle of amino acids just to help with energy throughout the day at my gym session and it just kind of helps with your brain focus as well so that's what we're going to do but now i am going to walk the dogs and then i'll see you at the gym got back from the gym looking rather disheveled as you can see <sighs> sorry about that but i got myself the so the grenades the oreo bars are just like gold dust at the moment we keep trying to buy boxes online but you can't get them anywhere so i got myself four well actually no, i got myself three one for my dad to try and um, so this one is for me later on today tomorrow because it is easter 
and obviously I'm on prep, so this is my treat. And then this is for Monday vlogs. I'm not going to the gym on Monday. Um, I've actually altered the way that I'm doing things because I work on a Monday and I always have my client check-ins. And I feel like I've been neglecting my client check-ins a little bit, which I do not want to do. So I'm switching in first day workout day of the week for me will now going forward be Tuesday. But the plan now is I'm going to have my um, post-workout, which is probably going to be a bowl of Cocoa Pops, my protein powder put on the top with some milk, and then give it half an hour or so, then I'm going to actually have my lunch, which today is going to be salmon, rice, and some salad bits, because then tonight my sister is cooking, we're having that Mexican food this evening, and um, we're doing it in a way that I can still track, so I can still have it. Same with Easter, tomorrow, Easter dinner tomorrow, I think we've got some like low salt um, bacon medallions, with some egg and on like a bagel and then we're having a, a obviously a roast dinner but i'm just having you know roast potatoes mashed potatoes mashed potatoes cooked separately than everything else obviously because i can't have all the trimmings on but i'm still gonna be having dinner with them which is nice so we have that post workout meal and then i'm going to pack all of my bits and i'll show you what i'm packing to kind of take with me for the the evening and then have my lunch have my shower and then get going to my sister's in redditch so this is the post-workout I'm having, post-workout meal, and that is the optimum way, the um, vanilla ice cream that I'm having. These are not for me, these are for family members. <laughs> so these are all the food items that I'm taking with me. Obviously, eggs are not for me, neither are these, neither is that. Um, but I've got my creatine there, oh, which actually needs to be closed, I'll do that in a second, along with my Woman's Best Shaker there. I'm bringing myself two packs of the proper corn just in case I want something else that's a little, you know, low calorie, but something that I genuinely do enjoy. I also bought some caramel snacker jacks, low in calorie, tasty, I love them. Obviously, I've got my grenade, and then I've got my supplements as well, and what I have put in for tonight is um, two melatonin tablets because I'm sleeping in the living room on a blow-up bed, so that'll just help me sleep, and this is Prosecco to take for the rest of the family whilst I'm on my... Coke Zero. Already now, car's packed to go to my sister's. I actually didn't have time to have my little post-workout meal, so I've just taken that off, and that's gonna give me a few more calories to have, oh, excuse me, when I get to my sister's, but these two are very excited, so I'm gonna head, feeling good after that gym session. Two days off the gym now before we're back in to so have another week, week two of prep. So this was just a little mini update, so as I said, not really that much has changed, but the next proper update you get will probably be in a month's time, so another three weeks. Um, I've got other videos planned in the meantime, and then I can give a big update. Hopefully there'll be a slight physique change as well that I can sort of update you all on. But that's it. So I'm gonna head now, got just under an hour to drive, and then Easter weekend with the family before coming back home for another working week. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like the videos if you do, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.